March 26th, 2011. This is today's climate change update. Uh, a lot going on. I know I seem tired and ragged, but it's after midnight here. Uh, my day is done. This is pretty much uh, me winding down at the end of the evening putting up these videos. Uh, so don't worry about me. I'm fine. Let's start in Japan. Um, wow. Al Jazeera just reported the workers are trying to pump out radioactive water out of the reactors. Didn't they just bring in a bunch of pumps to pump water into the reactors? A radioactive iodine 1,250 times over safety limit detected in seawater at Fukushima. I wonder why. And uh, disaster alerts got uh, Japanese radiation detected in Australia. Vienna, Australia, the Australian Agency for Health and Food and Safety, detected very low concentrations of radioactive particles from the Fukushima reactor. Now they're saying they're safe levels. I imagine they are. It's pretty far away. But uh, no doubt this radiation is getting around the world. And where else is the other one? They got a breach suspected. Uh, suspected breach in reactor core at one unit of the Fukushima nuclear power plant may lead to a more dangerous radioactive contamination, a.k.a. meltdown. Uh, not to mention number three. Let's go to uh, the extinction protocol. Lunar pedigree causes high tides in Honduras. We are still dealing with these. Honduras permanent permanent contingency commission says no one was injured in the inundation Thursday. The waves washed nearly 200 feet, 60 meters inland in a tourist zone about 93 miles south of... Uh, I don't... I'm not even going to kill it. Uh, the commission says the waves were caused by gravity of the moon, whose ecliptical orbit last week reached its closest point to Earth since 1993. Uh, the phenomenon can cause abnormally high tides, and uh, I've seen reports of high tides all over. Uh, the Manmar, a.k.a. Burma, quake death toll rises to 75, and uh, we're getting all kinds of stories coming out of there. Um, along with, uh, isn't it Cambodia it borders with? Spring arri uh, arrives early across the United Kingdom. London, despite a spat of bitterly cold temperatures and paralyzing deep snowfall in Northern Europe during the late December and January, spring has arrived in Britain much earlier than usual. The Woodland Trust reports that hawthorns are leafing, blackthorns flowering, and there have been hundreds of sightings of frog spawn, frog eggs, it won't be a record breaker, but it will be another of the recent early springs. Blah, blah, blah. It's rushing forward now. Everything is desperate to become active. Plants, birds, and insects are all making rapid progress. Uh, don't hold your breath. It's still early. Thousands of fish found dead in Florida Lake. Atlantic Beach, Florida. Dozens of dead fish have risen to the surface at Lake Hanna Park. The floating fish have produced a foul, small, and eerie sight. I've seen a couple people biking around, but as soon as they get to this area, they turn right back around. Uh, visitor Heather Lanier said. Da -da -da. And they're calling it oxygen deprivation again. We had yet another 6.4 earthquake off the coast of Japan along with several other quakes of course I keep asking you to uh, check out these earthquake locations on the map and tell me if uh, Japan's not sliding or not uh, increase in solar activity seen with sunspots uh, spaceweather.com looks like we've got four facing us right now and we definitely have a lot more sunspots this year Earth's oceans growing more turbulent. Scientists are unsure why. 
And uh, basically they did a report in saying that over the last 20 years, um, like in Australia, that the waves got a meter bigger and um, <clears throat> the winds picked up by like 20% over 20 years or so. Huge seismic burst jolts the Pacific. Um, Japan, did something jolt the planet? We're sensing a strong seismic burst of energy on global seismometers that that concentrated most strongly in the Pacific. It doesn't fit the pattern of a tremor, but it looks more like a sudden powerful release of seismic energy or a plate nudge. This anomalous, it's anomalous because no quakes have followed, which adds to the mystery. The area of the greatest density is in the Pacific region th through weaker spectral patterns also shown up on graphs such um, much further from the ring of fire. And then they ask the question, is this the prelude to more intense geological upheaval from Japan? And then they have some graphs, of course. Over to EarthChangesScott.net. Yellow rain falls in Tokyo. Pollen excuse is the exact same as Chernobyl. Yellow rain lie. Uh, and personally, uh, I think uh, it was a hurricane tracker. He uh, did a story on where they actually tested this and it wasn't radioactive. Um, but I don't trust 100% what the Japanese government's doing right now. They've got a story on the Burma quake. Um, then they've got the fish kill in, in Florida. California Tornado Alley. Third twister this year for Calusa County, um, and then they've got a video funnel cloud west of Maxville, Maxwell, California. Uh, Northern California is looking a lot like Tornado Alley these days. Just north of Sacramento, two reported weak tornadoes struck this week in Calusa County, which did not have a single tornado report from 1950 to 2010, according to the Weather Channel. Uh, they have now had three reported tornadoes this year and four in the past five months. That's some serious action for a state that averages five tornadoes a year. And uh, again, the weather is just getting crazy. Someone in Hawaii caught a moonbow. Basically, it's a rainbow with the moon. Recipe for a rainbow. Add bright sunlight to raindrops and voila! A beautiful band of multicolors arcs across the sky. With such an ingredient list, you might suppose the rainbows can only be seen during the day. Yet last night, Ethan Tweet, Tweety of, uh, <laughs> recorded this spectacular example long after dark. Uh, it was a moonbow explains Tweety. The bright moon played a role of the sun, illuminating some raindrops falling through the damp Hawaiian air. Uh, apparently he's been trying to photograph a moonbow for a long time and it's a very very cool picture. I recommend you check it out. And this one's on the earthchangescott.net link. They've got the story wind and waves growing across the globe. Uh, some more tsunami stories. Uh, they're just now picking up on that oil spill uh, thousands of endangered penguins have been coated with oil after a cargo ship ran aground and broke up on a remote British South Atlantic territory. The officials and con conservationists said Tuesday. Uh, the shipwreck also threatens the lobster fishery that provides a livelihood for one of the world's most isolated communities. <sighs> Nightingale Island. Now this is in the South Atlantic again. You remember that's between uh, Argentina and South Africa. United States. Flooded, flooding damages Northern California businesses and homes. And again, just the extreme weather going on in California. And then over to... back to you be alert. And they have... Heavy storm shut down Kuwait International Airport. Uh, they're still having severe weather.
The death toll from Japan's quake tsunami rises to 10,066. Now that's the official. There are still several thousand people missing. There's the breach in the power plant. And there was another story, I believe. Tropical cyclone Boone in the South Pacific. Uh, this is east of uh, New Zealand. Workers exposed to radiation 10,000 times above normal radiation at Fukushima nuclear power plant. Uh, again, those guys are on a suicide mission. Series of aftershocks overnight in Christchurch, New Zealand. Apparently they had a bunch of aftershocks fell through the area. There's no reported damages, but it really shook people up. Flash flood in Indonesia, Malaysia. Ten villages within the Tepesuk area were hit by flash floods due to heavy rain here for the, for the first time on Sunday. And then over to the RSOE. Um, they've got the Malaysia story and then the earthquake in um, Burma and Thailand or Myanmar that's about it it's, it's, looks like on the long term rolling events um, they still got the floods reporting in Asia or Australia um, Flash floods in New Zealand. Crazy. Anyway, like I said, it's late and uh, I've worked all day and it's been a long video. Wow, 12 minutes. So I'm going to let you go. Enjoy what you can and uh, let me know if I missed anything. Thanks, everybody.